Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is August the 12th, 2021. But before we jump into things here, I wanted to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I actually get a small bonus from that, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a discount code for your playmat where you can build your own custom playmat, so check that out if you'd like to. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. You're the reason why I can make these videos on a daily basis. Okay, let's get moving. Starting the list off here today with Flagstones Stones of Tarkir. This is the original version from Time Spiral. It is down 9.78% from 12.27 to 11.07. And our next loser on the list today is Pact of Negation. This is the modern master's printing of the card. It is down at 9.84% from 1992 to 1796. Revel in Riches from Ixalan. This was a winner on our list the past few weeks, but it's finally down 12.54% from 1547 to 1353. And we have Tainted Pack from Odyssey. This rare is down 17.09% from 62.21 to 51.58. And our last loser on the list is Elvish Promenade from Dual Decks Anthology. It's down 23.18% from 578 to 444. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are starting that list off here with... Chalice of the Void. This is the Modern Masters printing of this card. It is up 6.35% from 53.35 to 56.74. Now, if you compare it to the Invention version from the Kaladesh Inventions, that's about $198, so almost four times as expensive. Now, this card is seeing play in Is It Tempo and Modern, and also Goal of Stacks and Vintage, as well as other Modern and Legacy decks. Next up on the list is a reserve list card. It is Infinite Authority from Legends. Yes, and it's a Legends Rare, so we all know the Legends Rares had 19,300 copies printed. And this card is up 6.65% from $40 to $42.66, as we are still seeing a bit more of the Legends Rare BIOS that was happening actually last week and all throughout this week as well. And the next winner on our list today is Sorceress Queen from Arabian Nights, which is a Four Horsemen set. This is not a reserveless card, but it is a very iconic card from this set. It's up 6.67% from 166.68 to 177.79. This card also did have its print run disclosed, and there's only 31,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. Next up on the list today is Esper Sentinel from Modern Horizons 2. This is one of the most expensive rares in the set, and it's up again today, 7.38% from $14.91 to $16. Now, this card is already making an impact across a variety of formats, especially Modern Hammer Time, but also sees a bit of play in Commander decks like Osager the Reconstructor. We have another reserveless card on our list today, and it happens to be another reserveless card from Legends. This Legends Rare has its own. Tom R is up 8 points, 15% from 287.24 to 310.66. This card is seeing a little bit of play in Commander decks as a commander itself, and even decks like Sliver Queen. The next winner we have on our list today is Omnath Locus of Creation from Zendikar Rising. This mythic is up 10.88% from 965 to $10.70. This is one of the most expensive mythics in this set, and it is seeing a lot of commander play and modern play, believe it or not, in five color elementals. A bit of pioneer play in Niftalite, but commander decks as a commander itself. Next up on the list is Phyrexian Arena. This is the 9th edition printing of this card. This rare enchantment is up 12.18% from 18.88 to 21.18. This card is an absolute powerhouse in Commander, and that's where it sees most of its play. In decks like Kalia of the Vast, Edgar Markov, and even Oloro Ageless Ascetic. Next up on the list is Bottle of Suleiman from Arabian Nights of Four. Horseman set. This artifact is up 13.70% from 95.31 to 108.37. Now, Arabian Nights was one of the sets that had their print runs disclosed, and this card specifically has 20,700 copies printed from the original set. We have yet another reserve list card from Legends on our list here. It is Land Equilibrium. This Legends Rare is up 16.46% from 397.35 to 462.75. 
This card is seeing a little bit of commander play in decks like Sliver Queen and even Venax, God of Deception. The next card we have on our list is Alpine Moon. This Core Set 2019 Rare is up 19.34% from 760 to 907. Now this card is great for sideboard play in Modern, but it also sees a lot of main deck play. It is seeing play right now in decks like Hidden Strings, Grixis, and also Grixis Death Shadow, as well as Is It Tempo in Modern. Next up on the list is Shivan Dragon. This is the 5th edition version of this card using this same original art from Alpha. It is up 19.57% from 1129 to 1350 with a massive increase. I remember this card was less than a dollar just a few years ago. Next card we have on the list is Rubinia Soul Singer, another Legends Rare. It is up 35.37% from $90.49 to $122.50. It sees a bit of play in Commander as a Commander itself and also decks like Felid Griff. All right, now we're going to take a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Buried Alive from Odyssey. And it is an old frame foil. It's up 27.89% from $47.48 to $60.72. And the next foil winner on our list is Romassian Sky Marshall from Mercadia Mass. This rare old frame foil is up 27.92% from $13 to $16.63. And we have Konda, Lord of Aiganjo, from Champions of Kamigawa. It's up 29.19% from 1021 to 1319. Blaze, this is a 7th edition foil, and it is up 35.65% from 2278 to $30.90. The next foil mover we have up on our list today is Kokusho the Evening Star. This is the original printing from Champions of Kamigawa. It is up 37.25% from $144.91 to $199. Next card we have is Compulsion from Torment, another old frame foil, up 39.77% from $528 to $7.38. And the next card moving up on our list is Arcane Laboratory from 7th edition. Another 7th edition foil is up on our list, 57.14% from $35 to $55. Next up, we have Angelic Curator from Urza's Legacy. This foil is up 67.71% from $192 to $3.22. Next foil mover is Bull Hippo, another 7th edition foil. It is up 96.12% from 1082 to 2122. Last foil mover of the day is Bubbling Beebles from Urza's Destiny. And I do have this card, so I'm happy to see it up on the list. It's up 298% from 627 to $25. Thank you all so much for taking the time of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movies. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared in YouTube's algorithm as I'm still trying to grow on this platform. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you actually own, and which cards you're most surprised to see that were moving up on our list today. It looks like there was another bit of a Legends Rare buyout, as well as potentially a 7th edition foil buyout. We did see a lot of movers on the list. We typically only see one or two, and there was actually three today, so not a bad sign right there for 7th edition foil collectors like myself. Anyways, I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic Gathering Market Movers. With that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.